hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel thank you so much for for joining me i know it's been a minute i have been really meaning to do um, a video and get back on track in posting content sharing my views and just missing doing this for you guys as well as to just stay on track but hey as i said it's been a minute forgive me I've been busy. Nevertheless, I've got just a few things I want to talk about. It's not really a formal podcast, but it's just a few thoughts I have on a couple of things that, or rather, let me say a couple of stories that I have been following. Of course, one of those stories, it has to be our new Twitter landlord, and that is Elon Musk, who's just bought Twitter and who has done really drastic changes. He has brought back Jordan trump everyone that you can think of who are on the red list of the of the woke leftist uh, media nevertheless they're all back and the platform has been pretty exciting you know of course it's been getting a lot of heat but there's one thing that i have appreciated or have been appreciating about him he's been quite vocal and he's even managed to bring back his staff or some of his staff members that he had laid off because of God knows what, of their great talent or rather also the fact that he saw the need um, in the business for the people that he had laid off. So now they're back. For me, it tells me a lot about his work ethic and his leadership style as a person. So that's my thought on Twitter currently. Yes. Yes, I know. Not everybody's going to like his work style. But guess what? When you have the money, you get to pick and choose what you want to buy and what you would want to, um, let me say, lead. Because your money permits for you to do so. I have good faith in him. I think he will turn Twitter to be a trillion dollar company. My thoughts. And I might be wrong, but guess what? I've seen him doing it before and I know he has a great potential to actually do this. I'm biased because he is from South Africa, of course. But also just um, <sighs> on other news, of course, um, it has been a story that I've, quite, I've found quite fascinating has been the story about, um, I think, the murder of Chris Hani. I remember, you know, the late Chris Hani, by the way. Her wife or her widow, I'm sorry, of his widow, sorry. Oh, English um came out and she was furious that the guy might get a parole you know which is fair and everybody has been saying that the whole Kadesa chats or negotiations have been they were just null and void they didn't really do anything for black people um which is also fair however i had this thought you know i know a couple of people or in fact, let me say rather famous people have done really gruesome things. And when I came to mind, I, I, I just couldn't stop thinking about the fact that the guy who is hosting the, 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 the show called it. What is it called? I forgot. Anyway, his name is Jup Jup. I don't know who's Jup Jup. I don't know what his real name is, but he's the guy who I remember in 2010, he was he got into it wasn't an accident. He drove recklessly and killed children and even led others or actually left others paralyzed. So today he's back, has a show, and he is doing life as normal as if he had not done anything. We have forgiven him in society and we understood he has served his time. So therefore, we need to just move on. This guy, on the other hand, remember I said it was 2010, so I'm not quite sure if it's really... 20 years later or even 15 years later but whatever time it has been he has done his time with Jup Jup and he's now done and back into reality living with us as as as, as people who have never been to jail for that matter what is my point the guy who murdered chris honey did his time as well for 30 years if not more might be wrong but he did his time and he's given a in fact he he might be given a parole if also i stand to be corrected on that one and people already they are saying they want to paint it on black versus white um, um, um criminals you know 
or murderers, we'll put it like that, that black people are always given a harsh sentence. Well, I think that black people, they're also given a leeway depending on the, the, the magnitude of the case. It's just that I think this case, particularly people tend to have some type of feeling in me um, or reaction towards it because of the... The, the, the history behind it, of course, Chris Anne is one of the struggle icons. I respect that. But in terms of law, I think the guy also deserves a parole. My view. Don't hate me for it. But I'm just saying, my view. You can have yours as well. I just think that crime or murder uh, murders are the same as whether black or white. And if the justice system offers them both a parole, who are we to stand on the on the justice system? And yeah, those are my thoughts. I will, guys, share more of what I think uh, before we go. I do want to talk about Shelly's the Raw. You know, our girl from one of... You know what? When I think of her, I, I enjoyed watching her in... Is it the Ocean 11? The Ocean's 12? Today, I'm butchering everything under the sun when it comes to whether movie titles or name but hey you know which movie i'm talking about the one that had mini coopers the one where they were um the best of the best of 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 Ozzold, aka smugglers aka the bad guys they the that one i loved her on that movie but anyways she came out saying that there's only 44 people who are speaking afrikaans People who are speaking Africans in South Africa right now. My answer to her is that, girl, you might have forgotten. You know, I understand you've been in the States for some time. Yourself, I know you're an Afrikaans person or speaker or even by birth. I know you might not like the language. But, you know, if you want a refresher of the number of Afrikaans speaking people, please, whenever you've got time, hop in here in Pal you will see for yourself that that number is way above 44. And you might be surprised that you were actually wrong, you know? But whatever narrative she wanted to, um, she wanted to fulfill, I guess maybe she did, but I love the backlash that she's received because she's just plain out telling lies. Guys, I look forward to sharing more of this kind of videos, short videos of some sort. I know I might be rusty and, 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 and. I'm guilty. Don't be too harsh for me. If you might be hearing another noise in the background, it's just my fan. Again, it's going to get better with time. Thank you. Bye.